So hi, Microbe Hunter here. Today I want to talk about a question that I've uh, received already a few times over the last couple of months. And as a matter of fact, uh, I myself have been asking the same question to the representative of uh, the company where I bought the microscope from. And the question is, is uh, if you use a phase contrast objective uh, as bright field, is it possible or is there an image uh, loss of image quality? So to explain this, uh, what I have here is, is I have a, this here is a so-called phase contrast objective. Um, and uh, you can use this phase contrast objective uh, to make uh, certain structures visible that otherwise are too difficult to see. Uh, but it's also possible, it is possible to use it also um, on the bright field, but there is a loss of image quality. And in this video, I would like to now show you comparison pictures um, and because what I will be doing is, is I will putting, be putting this uh, microscope objective I'll be comparing with the regular uh, bright field microscope objective and those two are comparable because they're not only from the same company but also from the same series and the only difference is, is that this one here is, is for phase contrast. Um, so I now have a fair comparison between uh, those two objectives and as a matter of fact I will be able to show you that there is a small loss uh, in image quality um, just like the representative of my company of the company here um, actually told me many years ago. So um, that's the first thing I'm going to do um, and later on uh, at the end of the video I'm going to also uh, talk a little bit about why there is this image loss of image quality in the first place. So let's get started. So these are the two objectives that I will be comparing in the left one that is the phase contrast objective and you can see the phase ring there the right one that is my regular achromatic bright field objective um, so I'll be connecting both of them uh, to my microscope like you have here and then I'll be simply switching back and forth so one thing that I really want to make clear here I'm only going to use a bright field right now okay so that is uh, the point that uh, I would like to test both objectives in bright field so when I've uh, written in the corner phase contrast and this means that I'm using the phase contrast objective in bright field so that is the bright field objective and here we've got the phase contrast objective in bright field and you do see a small image quality drop and now here uh, zoomed in cropped in uh, so that we're at the resolution limit and uh, the specimen that I used are commercially prepared uh, permanent mounts of plant tissues and so they are quite uniform in thickness and therefore I think they're quite suitable for making such an image quality comparison. And yeah, that's simply the trade-off uh, when using phase contrast objectives for bright field work. Um, so it is possible, um, as I mentioned before, but as I said, there is a, this small image quality drop, but later on we're going to have a look um, at uh, images that were improved using Photoshop, and then you will see that the drop in image quality is not that much. Yeah, again, cropped in and using the phase contrast objective. So what I've uh, done now is the following. I now uh, corrected uh, both uh, images for contrast. That's the only thing that I've done. Um, and now let's uh, do another comparison. Uh, now both images are uh, uh, processed in Photoshop to enhance contrast. Here level corrected the bright field image from before. And the face contrast objective also now color corrected or contrast corrected. And you see that uh, by using uh, some image uh, editing software, we can greatly improve the image quality. But uh, you still see that there is a little bit of fuzziness left over. Um, but I think uh, it's okay. Um, generally, um, it should be fine. Um, there are also other factors that uh, play a role concerning image quality. For example, how well the specimen has been prepared and so on. So that's simply the trade-off. And again, phase contrast objective. The question is, of course, now why is there this uh, loss uh, of image uh, quality? And that is, of course, because of the phase ring of the phase contrast objective. The phase ring is a necessity, of course, uh, but it has a few, yeah, it causes a few problems um, as well. And what you have to understand is that the phase ring, because it has edges, it will cause a bending of light rays. So every time when a light ray strikes a corner, like for example, the edge of, of this phase ring, then the light rays are bent around the corner and this can cause interference uh, with uh, the light that uh, passes uh, through the phase ring because the phase ring is not completely black and uh, this causes uh, some of the yeah, a loss of contrast um, and uh, 
you've actually been able to see this um, and the phase ring itself also takes away a little bit of light um, so that is unfortunate uh, but um, as we've seen the effect is not very much uh, and I would say that probably the advantage of a phase contrast microscope um, overall probably outweighs the um, yeah, the loss of image quality especially because you can do image editing and you can enhance the contrast so I would say uh, for those of you who are a little bit also into amateur astronomy if you have a telescope um, then there's also this so-called the secondary mirror which is uh, quite large and also the suspension of the secondary mirror and I remember that uh, from discussions uh, among amateur astronomers uh, there is a similar issue uh, to what extent does the secondary mirror which is also right in the light path reduce image uh, quality of, of the picture of, uh, of the universe and of the stars that you want to take. So you see that uh, a similar issue also appears in other fields as well. Well what I would like to do right now is, is uh, give you a certain suggestion or recommendation because uh, some people were actually asking me well should I not buy myself a face, face contrast microscope and then I can also do bright field at the same time and uh, my suggestion is, is if it is your first microscope um, probably save the money a little bit uh, until buy yourself a regular bright field microscope one that of reasonably low cost the reason being that uh, when you've got more experience then you might also look at other uh, features or parameters that you would like to have in your microscope because phase contrast microscopes are um, quite a bit more expensive um, I think that is uh, also has to do with price politics a little bit because manufacturing a phase contrast objective and condenser cannot be is not so cannot be so expensive it's not really um, that complicated um, but uh, it is I think a question of price politics and then you might as, uh, as well look at all the other features as well so my, my, my suggestion is is um, don't uh, um, overemphasize the importance of phase contrast especially because not all samples look better under phase contrast it depends uh, also a little bit on the type of specimen separate video on that separate video on that I think enough for today I would like to invite you again uh, over to have a look at the links below in the description and also to subscribe to this channel if you liked it. Happy microbe hunting, see you around next time, bye bye.